A member of the Oklahoma Quarter Horse, the Oklahoma Horse Racing, and the Rio Doso Downs Halls of Fame, Ted Wells Jr. takes his place in the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame in 2015. Dad was a very humble man, says Scott Wells. Dad would have been embarrassed by this, but it would have also been a great honor for him to be recognized by his peers. Those peers were some of the most respected horsemen in the industry. After serving stateside as a flight engineer on bombers in World War II, Ted returned to Oklahoma to become one of the nation's leading trainers of racing American quarter horses. He had so many good friends in the industry, Jay Pumphrey, Bud Warren, Walter Merrick, Ray Cates, Jack Brooks, guys like that, Scott says. Dad was very grateful for the opportunities to get to know and work with men like them, guys who respected his horsemanship enough to give him good stock. Walter Merrick respected the young man so much that he sent the world record setting Bob's Folly to him, and later such outstanding sprinters as Lena's Bar, the thoroughbred mare who beat quarter horses at their own game and became the dam of Easy Jet. This was the result of Ted's raising. In partnership with another horseman, Ted's father, Ted Sr., had co-owned American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame stallion, Leo. Ted Jr. trained Leo Jr. to be a winner from Leo's first registered crop of 1945. Having worked as a young cowboy on the Four Sixes Ranch, in 1964 Ted was offered a chance to train racehorses for the Burnett Estate by then-manager Jay Pumphrey. He soon won the Sunland Fall Futurity with the Burnett bred Peggy Toro, who became the dam of Champion Easy Six. Ted Jr. also conditioned Savannah Jr. to win the 1965 All-American Futurity. The champion called at ages 2 and 3, Savannah Jr. left the track with then record earnings of more than 280000 in the 1970s, Ted served on the AQHA Racing Committee and two terms as president of the Oklahoma Horsemen's Association, where he was influential in securing paramutual racing in the state. Ted also served on the board of directors of the Oklahoma Quarter Horse and Oklahoma Thoroughbred Associations and was a two-term president of the Senior Pro Rodeo Association. This after serving as a young man on the committee that initiated the Ben Johnson Memorial Steer Roping at Pawhuska, Oklahoma. Ted retired from the racetrack in 1968 and began breeding horses full-time. By the early 1970s, Wells Ranch in Oklahoma was one of the leading stud farms in the nation. At the 1971 All-American Futurity, three of the top ten horses were bred at Wells Ranch, where Savannah Jr. had one qualifier and Azure Tay had two. Along with Pumphrey and friends like Lee McLean, Wells formed Speed Farms, one of the most successful breeding partnerships of that era. Ted dispersed his bloodstock in 1986 to raise cattle in Osage County, Oklahoma, near where he grew up in Pawhuska, and where he continued as an avid steer roper until the age of 81. Ted, who died in September 2011 at age 87, grew up riding good quarter horses on his father's ranch in Oklahoma before AQHA was founded. He inherited a legacy, knew what to do with it, and made the most of it. An eye for good horses coupled with dedication and integrity are what put Ted Wells Jr. in the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame.